trap here uh, no extra charge for mistakes hey um I just wanted to do a video here on uh, Saturday for you I know I've been a little off schedule it's been super busy around here which is good I'm not complaining at all uh, fortunate to be able to make music and play the guitar for a living um, hope everybody's doing great and having a safe weekend looking forward to uh, some fun stuff going to see Jason Isbell my friend Sadler Vaden playing guitar with him uh, tonight and Jason's a, a buddy we're going to um, to see those guys at the Ryman tonight and um, just looking for uh, you know looking forward to seeing those guys and um, just uh, wow what a, an exciting time to be in Nashville Tennessee um, so this video I want to um, share a little bit with you guys about just the importance of really using your ear using your ear I mean that's just like the final judgment at the end of all this stuff is is listening to music and making music you know all the stuff that we get sidetracked with with gear and and theory and learning all the notes on the fingerboard all this stuff is like at the end of the day it's using your ear you know and and really you know trying to emote something um with some feeling from these instruments that we play and so a really great way to to practice this and 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 this is something that you might have heard from other people but just learning really simple songs and really simple melodies. Pick out the melody of anything you can think of. I don't care if it's the Andy Griffith Show, the Flintstones, Mary Had a Little Lamb, Amazing Grace, You Are My Sunshine, Happy Birthday, Take Me Out to the Ball Game. Uh, all these songs that we know so well um, that if you hit a wrong note, you're going to know it immediately because you've heard these songs since, we, since we've been kids, right? So... Um, you know, let's take something like, and, and I, might make, I might make some mistakes here because I haven't picked out these melodies in a while, but this is really, 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 really good um, for, your, uh, for your ear training and just to be able to take the major scale and, 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 and pick these, these notes out, and these melodies out. It's incredible uh, practice. I mean, it's just really good. So let's take something like, uh, like uh, You Are My Sunshine, right? Let's get in the key of C. And let's just do that. Um, so it's going to be a... Uh... So I'm not going to show these note for note uh, uh, to you. I'm not going to show these to you note for note because uh, I want you to have to pick these out. You can use my examples here for some help, of course. But the, pra the, the practice is to have to find the notes and pick those out and hear how, they're, how these melody notes work over uh, the chords that are going uh, beh behind those. You know, the, listening to the harmony and how certain notes work over over certain chords you know that's the point of all this is just to keep keep you know training your ear to hear this stuff and that's gonna really really help you develop as a musician uh, and a guitar player um, and there's a big difference between being a really good guitar player and being a really good musician you know um, there's a lot of guys that can play physically play on the guitar but being a great musician is a whole other other ball game you know um, there's so much that goes into it and I would love to talk more about the interpersonal aspects of of being a really good musician I'm not saying that I am one uh, but striving to be right so um <clears throat> you know that's something that I could get into uh, a lot and I might do that with uh, with somebody else to talk some more about that stuff I know you guys want to hear me play and 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 teach and stuff like that but you know there's a whole thing to this you know it's 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 very special to me but it's also not something that I think should be over t overthought I think music should be treated with a lot of respect but not overthought okay so let's do another one let's do let's do amazing grace in the key of C
啊，是啊。messed up but you get it that's the that's the thing and I slid up that last time you could stay and this is all out of the the the, the G position right out of this this C shape you know right out of that uh, one two three third position out of my G shape from the cage system right so right out of that shape the major scale arpeggio, the pentatonic, and then ultimately the major scale. Right, so that's how you do that with the, um, oh, I'm not saying that's how you do that. That is how you play over that, that, um, that G shape with your uh, chord being the foundation. The first level of um, framework is the um, arpeggio. Then the pentatonic, then the scale. So then you have everything you need to know to play over the major scale. Um, so let's do another one. Let's do the Andy Griffith show. Uh, again. Flintstones. Uh, uh. Let's see, where would we start that, right? So, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. So there we are. There, I was doing that out of the E shape because I was trying to find the melody. It's been a while since I've played the Flintstones. But uh, out, of the, out of the G shape... simple and elementary and childish maybe if you will but the thing about it is is picking out these melodies are just uh, it's just great for your ear it's really great ear training I mean it it doesn't get any better because they're melodies and, and the reason why we know them is because they're really strong melodies um, you know um, um, screwing these up left and right but even I should sit around and do this because it just makes you such a better musician to, to be able to, to what it's going to do is it's going to help you hear something and know where to grab it and you're learning where the I mean this is cool because you're learning where the how the some melodies might start on the five some melodies might start on the three some might start on the one but you're seeing how melody works and there's no better way to do it than to just learn really simple melodies this is going to be a short video. I got to run um, and go uh, to dinner and then go to the show at the Ryman, which is going to be a blast. But I wanted to get a, a quick video out, and this is something that I thought of as I taught some lessons this past weekend or this past week. I uh, had a lot, taught a lot of lessons this past week, and every time I'm learning new things that can really help. And so this is a big one that I think is really important. There's more stuff to come. I got to say, check the links below, uh, as we all do on YouTube here, apparently. Um, I'm happy to do this. I love doing it. The tip jar, man, you guys have been really generous. Uh, that keeps me motivated to do this and, and keeps a little um, extra cash coming in for coffee and some breakfast every once in a while. Um, it, it's very supportive, and I really appreciate that, you guys. Um, also, all the comments have been very uplifting, uh, motivating, and inspirational. Um, uh, man, I just really appreciate it. I'm fortunate to be able to do this for a living. 
and the older I get, the more I realize that. So, man, life is good. It's fun. Uh, let's keep it up, guys. We're all learning together, no matter what level we're at here. And so, um, uh, ch oh yeah, check out the private lessons if you want to take any of this farther. Book a lesson with me here in Nashville or on Skype. All provided with a video. Skype, you can video it. You, can, you get the video for forever, which is great because I load you up with a bunch of fundamentals and things that change my life and the way I'm approaching. And I can also dial into your specific needs and your style as well. So uh, another great thing, Artist Works. They're doing a great giveaway right now, my online curriculum with the great company out of Napa, California. Also, check out the Guitar Safari. There's only a couple slots left, maybe five slots left for the Guitar Safari in Africa. And just stay in touch. Got some gigs coming up this month with John Oates. Check out the website, new music. Um, I mean, uh, my new record, uh, It's I say new, it's a year or two old. Uh, check out the music on there. Whatever, man, just uh, stay in touch with me. And sorry for all the talking. I'll see you guys soon. Thanks a lot. Bye.